Now, KSBW Weather with Jim Vanderswan. Over the weekend, subtropical moisture. Typically, we see that more like late July, August, September. We got it a little bit today. Also, up in the northern part of the state, showed up on radar. Not a lot of this made it to the ground, though. But we did have some measurable precipitation, so as, as such as it was down around the bay, because the low clouds of the marine layer thickened up a little bit, had a little bit of drizzle around well, Monterey, Marina, Seaside, and the like. It's kind of mixing out right now. Sun angles low. There's still a little stratus left, but there's a lot more clear sky and maybe. A nice sunset. Some high clouds in the background there. It'll lighten up pretty good here before too long. 80 in Boulder Creek, 76 in Santa Cruz, 66 the low. Look at those overnight lows. Sometimes only two or three degrees separating them. Monterey, case in point. Very mild overnight temperatures because of the increase in moisture and that southerly flow, both surface and aloft, that uh, kind of makes it feel different than a typical July when we have an onshore breeze from the northwest. That'll be coming before too long. 74 in Salinas, 83 in King City, got 84 out of Greenfield, 88 in Morgan Hill. Lows all 60s this morning in the Santa Clara Valley and a few 70s in Hollister and San Jose. 70s all along the coast, 84 in uh, Sacramento. Clouds kept uh, redding at 87, a little break from the summer heat. 90s in the San Joaquin. Deserts still in the hundreds, likely will be for a while. Getting pretty warm, though, as you go all the way up to the north. was 90 in Bismarck. It's dropped by 20 degrees now because of a thunderstorm and a, ba a batch of clouds going by. 74 in Seattle, got 84 in New York. 90 and a little on the sticky side, needless to say, in New Orleans. For that matter, most of the map east of the Continental Divide. Low pressure system over Dixie, putting some thunderstorms back on the map from Florida all the way up to the mid Atlantic. This system, get a little bit of action out of this now with lots of reports of hail and high winds up in North Dakota. Scattered showers off the front range of the Rockies are keeping a close eye on that. High pressure in the middle of the map now. This low will keep things active. The rest of the moisture moves up to the Great Lakes, probably get some severe thunderstorms tomorrow. Low pressure system out. Out west. Typically, there's high pressure offshore, and that produces the typical onshore flow. Here's the East Coast here. Here's uh, South America. That's a little tropical depression they're keeping an eye on. The Caribbean is right back here. We'll see if it makes it. Doesn't hold a lot of promise, but it's uh, the second one in the Atlantic. See what happens out of that. Meanwhile, we've got a little low pressure system right here. Shows up nicely in the water vapor satellite. Only this little band of white is high clouds that's coming up. And this low will kind of move on up around the high pressure here. That could let go with a little more of those sprinkles that you get out of the subtropical moisture but that's about it. No real rain. Southerly flow for a while longer. 5,000 foot temperatures start to warm up though about the middle of the week. That means the valleys will start to get a little bit hotter and but uh, you just look at that onshore flow at the surface, the lower levels, but the marine layer will get squashed down. For now it's up pretty high so we'll see the low clouds go well into the valleys but should clear out during the afternoon and midday in some places and then it'll, here comes that northwest flow and all of a sudden thing we get that upwelling going things kind of getting back to normal for the tail end of the week here. Yeah, so, but right now we'll stay with those warm nights. It looks like for a couple more, mostly 60s to get your morning started. High temperatures, 70s and 80s, just a little bit below normal in the valleys, but uh, still pretty comfortable if you have to work outdoors. You know, not too hot. Mid 70s to mid 80s from Salinas to King City and around the peninsula will settle on 60s with low clouds perhaps lingering a good part of the day. North end of the bay should clear up a little bit. We'll figure low to mid 70s. Santa Cruz, Watsonville, Coralitos, Capitola. 70s to low 80s up in the mountains. Mostly cloudy as we get through the night. Some high clouds, some low clouds. Could be a little drizzle later on tonight along the coast, but there's a chance of sprinkles as that low goes by that I pointed out. Pretty much gone by morning, and after some morning clouds, you're looking at sunny there with a little breeze in the afternoon in the valleys. Along the coast from Salinas out to the bay, we'll put clouds and drizzle in for the morning just in case. Might take that out if that layer stays mixed, but uh, partly cloudy should do it along the afternoon there with some leftovers. But through the course of the week, we go from 70s and 80s to 80s and 90s. And nothing super hot yet, not a lot of triple digits around, but still uh, getting back to normal. And along the coast, mostly 60s and 70s might warm up a little bit Thursday, then drop back a couple of points. But pretty typical weather for July, too, with the fog becoming more fog than low clouds. But that's yeah. okay. We got a little variety going. Sometimes July is like a broken record all month long. At least yeah. we're kind of mixing it up a little bit for you. Yeah. Trying to keep you around here. Keep it interesting. <laughs> keep it interesting. That's right. Okay. <laughs> okay.